Okay. Let's get back to how it benefits humanity, people, and all the things that the governments aren't necessarily watching out for. And big tech is just trying to monetize. So, uh, you know, so I think it's fascinating that, you know, you're integrating the tenants of Web3 into your product because they're there to use for good, right? It's just, it's just bad actors for bad, right? you know, get found out and get thrown in jail. That's why we needed to establish that balance. And Tarl's technology, it was ripe for the time. And it continues to be even more ripe. And as people start to see more of that value in their information, more so than they thought before, and that social narrative continues to grow while government restrictions come down, it's, it's good for everybody at this point. And mind you, you can't go to corporate entities and say, hey, let me teach you about Web3, why well, you should be using this. You know, frankly, for them, they don't, they don't give a shit. No. And, you know, go ahead. I mean, I get it. They get shareholder value they got to get. Like, that's their only incentive is financial incentive. But if you can meet them in a world that they're already used to, completely underpinned by Web3 technology and not right. even have to talk about it, right. and then just give them something very transactional and say, hey, here's the right. same thing you were getting, but I'm going to get you elevated and you're going to do it ethically, that's where the sale was. And that's where the sweet spot is. And many of the people that come to understand what Turtle does, even in the corporate sense, become personally interested first, and then they bring it to the business, and then they're interested for their business. But for many, they want to understand, how does this work for me as a consumer, as a patient, whatever it may be, personally in my life? Because it allows them to see both sides of that market, it allows them to complete that picture and say, ah, I see how this would fit in to what we're doing at our corporation. I see how Alexander sharing all of these implicit data points about himself, Rick's rich contextual private data, can help train my LLM or AI better than anybody else. I can actually do new novel things. There's an avenue for it. Yeah. I so appreciate that. And are you the CTO or the CEO? Like, who's your... The... Yeah, no, it's yeah. a very good question. So I'm the CEO of the company. CEO, CLO, right? Just, I guess I combine both of those. We have Chief Technology Officer, Dania Simmons. She is a savant when it comes to the architecture of this tech. She has done an incredible job carrying through the original philosophy and tenants and making sure that those things are exacted in what we're doing and we're actually delivering that value and balance back to both parties. And that comes from a very robust marketplace architecture. And she has a whole team of developers that work with her in support of that. And we have some of the finest marketing people around that work on our side, customer support, strategy, like you name it, we've, we've been there and we've done it. Yeah. And I appreciate that because when I was in the Web3 space, no one knew what the hell it was. Yeah. And you can't lead with the technology. You have to lead with the benefits of uh, changing people's lives. And then they understand that. And our play was you know, be in control of your content and monetize it in new ways. Well, I understand that. There's a podcast or whatever. And and so it was the hook. But you, you can't lead with technology. People don't understand it. No. And, it, and they don't need to understand it. It's just like I always use the analogy of the light switch. You know, I go and turn on that light switch and magically light happens. I don't really understand how it all works. I don't need to. But no. I like it and I trust it when it happens. As long as it's simple. It does what it says it's going to do. Right. It's the benefit. But I think light. Light switches, fantastic. To invent a light bulb, sure, fantastic. I don't know all the underlying technology, and I don't need to. 